So we have a subset of R cubed, and we have to determine if it's a subspace. Um, so recall that a subset W of a vector space V is a subspace of V if the following three conditions hold. So the first condition is that W is not empty. The second condition is that W is closed under vector addition. So if you take two vectors, X and Y and W, then whenever this happens, the sum x plus y must also be in w. So this is called closure under vector addition. And three, given any scalar in a field, usually this is the set of real numbers, so given any real number and any vector x in w, if we look at the new vector alpha x, uh, this is also in w. This is uh, called scalar multiplication, this is called vector addition. So non-empty, closed under vector addition, and closed under scalar multiplication. So solution, let's work this out, uh, see what's going on. So we have this subset, and we have to determine if it's a subspace. So maybe let's start by just checking the conditions. Let's start with the first one and see what happens. So is zero here? Well, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking no. So let's, um, let's suppose it was a subspace. So suppose W is a subspace. Let's actually prove it's not. then what does that mean? Well, if it's a subspace, it's not empty. So then by one, there exists some x in w, right? It's not empty. Um, by three, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> by three, um, well, note zero is a real number. x is in w. So condition three tells us that the new vector, 0x, which is equal to zero. Now over here, I'm using zero as a real number. Here, I'm going to put a little arrow. This is the zero vector. So because of condition three, this is in w. In particular, in particular that means that um, 0, 0, 0 is in w. And what does that mean? Well, that means we can write... 0, 0, 0 equal to x1, x2, 0, right? Because that's what vectors uh, in here look like, right? They're all x1, x2, 0. So 0, 0, 0 is a vector just like that with x1 equals x2 plus 1. Okay, let's go over that again. So we're actually proving it's not a subspace. So suppose it is, and we're going to reach a contradiction. So by 1, it's not empty, so we can find some x. By 3, since 0 is a real number and x is in w, the 0 vector is actually in w. So what does that mean? Well, it means that, let me write it one more time, it means that 0, 0, 0, so it s, let's write it bigger, is equal to x1, x2, 0, and we have this condition here. So that means that x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0. But at the same time, x, x1 is equal to x2 plus 1. So this is x2 plus 1 equals 0, x2 equals 0. Oh, look at that. So x2 is 0. So 0 plus 1 equals 0. That's a contradiction, right? That means contradiction. Um, so I didn't intend to prove this problem, uh, prove it wasn't a subspace. I just kind of looked at it and thought, okay, let's check to see if it's a subspace. Uh, but when you see this right, right here, you know it's suspect. For it to be a subspace of R cubed, it has to contain 0, 0, 0. So we basically just proved here that every subspace, right, we supposed it was a subspace, uh, actually contains uh, the 0 vector. So it has to pass um, through 0, 0, 0. So this one is not a subspace um, because if it was, it would contain the 0 vector, and it does not. That's a contradiction.